Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are doing something today a little different. It's gonna be another quick start guide because we wanna give you guys the maximum amount of education and tools so you can go out and get the best audio on your next shoot. So let's get started. A lot of questions have been about the D3 and the D3 Pro and today we are gonna definitely examine both of those. So here we have the D3. We've got it here on the A7S. And if you have an EVF, you're gonna to wanna to actually slide it forward. So the first thing we kind of tell people is mount it so it's comfortable for you. Make sure these are really, really nice and locked because the last thing you want is a microphone that will slide on you. Something else that you should be considering about, even though you've plugged the microphone in, it did not turn on. It's because the camera's not turned on. So what you gotta do is turn the camera on, the LED light turns on, and that microphone is now on. Now, something that a lot of people probably don't realize is as soon as you put the battery on, you're in standby mode. Because the microphone now is currently just sitting there, sleeping, waiting. As soon as you plug this microphone in, it's not when it becomes in the standby mode, it's whenever you put the battery in. So if you actually are gonna be storing this for a very long period of time, like a month between shoots, or we have to take your battery out. Last thing you need is the battery getting corroded in your microphone. So now let's actually move up to the D3 Pro. This microphone is slightly different in the way that it operates. The microphone itself is actually turned on by holding the low cut filter for just a few seconds. And as you can see, that orange light is turned on. More importantly, when actually this microphone gets plugged in and you turn on the camera, what you'll notice is that LED light now has turned green. That LED light indicates the fact that the microphone is now fully awake. But when they turn this camera off, just goes orange. And just like that, that microphone is now back in the sleep. Very similar to the D3, but you do have to turn it on once in the morning, at the very beginning of your shoot, and once at night when you're finally done shooting. The rest of the time, just leave it in standby mode, you're good to go. Now, other features of this microphone can be kind of confusing. You see the low cut button and you go, I use that for power and for low cut? Yes, indeed. All you have to do is tap it once and you'll see the 75 lights up and now you have 75 hertz low cut. Tap it a second time and boom, you have 150. Really, really simple microphone. Now, when it comes to calibrating this microphone to your camera, it can be slightly confusing depending on what camera model you have, but we have some general guidelines that we tell people to kind of stick to. We like to tell people to kind of actually start by turning that knob to six. Now for you Lumix users, you may immediately go, that's still too strong of a signal. You may actually want to start out like a plus three. Plus three actually means plus six dB. You may actually find that be a nice start position for where your audio is based on your talking head interview. From there, set the audio menu so that the view meter in the camera goes to about a negative 12 or negative 20 position, depending on what scale of camera you have. And you're gonna want the person maybe four or five feet in front of you talking. What that person's gonna do is give you a sound check and you're gonna make sure that you're hitting those levels at that plus six by adjusting the preamplifier in your camera. So once those two are done and calibrated, all you have to do from here on out is just use the gain knob for any kind of minor adjustments. You probably shouldn't have to be going into the menu too much after this. Well, there you have it, two great microphones. We actually have a great time of doing these kinds of educational videos. If you've got just questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments below and ask us things that you want us to answer. Well, hopefully with our research capabilities and our background and knowledge, we can answer those questions for you. Don't forget, like, follow, and subscribe on all social media platforms. Here on YouTube, don't forget that bell for the notifications for when we post new videos. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones, and thank you for watching.